I like stars. Dead stars. Blue stars. Old stars. New stars. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. And the thing that I like best about stars is the fact that at the beginning of everything, they gave us all the heavy elements in the universe. When you mix elements together, you might get a reaction, and there are two flavors of reactions that you might get, chemical and nuclear. Chemical reactions are relatively simple. Mix some things together and get new things. But nuclear reactions are what you do now that you're a big kid. Mommy wow, I do nuclear reactions now. In nuclear reactions, instead of mixing atoms together, which have proton protons, neutrons, and electrons, you mix together two atomic nuclei, or just the protons and neutrons, to get a new, heavier atomic nucleus. And by mix, I mean these nuclei are being squeezed together under extreme heat and pressure in the raging death furnace that is a star. Interestingly though, stars can only squeeze nuclei together up to a certain point, which is iron. The nuclei become too positively charged and repel each other too strongly, sort of like trying to push the south poles of two really strong magnets together. But if we look at this periodic table, there's a lot more here after iron. So where did all of these heavy elements come from? The answer is neutron capture, which can either happen slowly in the S process or rapidly in the R process. In the S process, a nucleus will take on an extra neutron, which will then decay into a proton. And when the number of protons in a nucleus changes, the identity of the nucleus changes. So if you stick an extra neutron onto bismuth and that neutron decays into a proton, now you have polonium. The R process results from a barrage of neutrons, usually in a supernova, where a nucleus will gather a bunch of neutrons all at once and then go through a series of decays. It's a bit like being the last kid on the dodgeball court. Stars are the only place in nature that this can happen. They are the only location that has the necessary heat, pressure, and excess of neutrons to fuel these nuclear reactions on the scale necessary to explain all the elements we have in the universe. Stars are the reason we have copper wiring and silver jewelry and bismuth for when your tum-tum gets upset. It might sound cheesy to say that we're all made of star stuff, but it's absolutely true. Everything we know and love came from out there in the stars, and that is amazing.